Hi, I'm Patrick Finley with the Chicago Sun-Times, and I'm here at Hallis Hall with my colleague Mark Potash. Uh, Potsy, today we had a recap of week two with Mark Tressman, Kyle Fuller, and Kyle Long. Uh, the, the major topic of conversation was what the Bears are going to do to replace Charles Tillman, who on Monday was put on the IR with a, t with a torn tricep. Uh, what did you make of what Tressman had to say and, and, and what he didn't say? Well, Pat, I think it's pretty clear the celebration of uh, one of the great comebacks in Bears history is, is over, and the Bears have moved on to the kind of the quandaries they face uh, in all three phases. I thought it was interesting that uh, on each of the three phases and in, in, in going over you know, the previous game, he talked about we have a lot of work to do, and I think they, and I think they do. Uh, first off, uh, we got to talk about you know the, the secondary. They've got they've got an issue there with with Charles Tillman out and and what to do. You know Kyle Fuller now is going to be in a full time spot. Uh, the issue, I guess, is Tim Jennings, and he's he's been I think pretty good and getting better at at nickel, but he's really a, a better cornerback. And, and and the Bears have nickelbacks on their roster or at their you know I, that they can get in, in Kelvin Hayden and, and Isaiah Fry. And I guess that's the big decision whether they want to. Kind of you know go with somebody else at, at cornerback or just use a nickelback and go with Fuller and, and Jennings. So we won't know until Thursday. They're not going to tell us. I don't think they're going to tip their hand. But but that's the big issue. And and then of course safety. Um, Chris Conti day to day. Uh, I don't know if you know the the what his shoulder injury is, how bad it is. But um, if he's out, they're going to have even more things to fill in there. So. And as these things go, Tressman didn't sound too concerned about Conti, but you never know until the first injury report of the week comes out, and that right. will be on Thursday. Uh, one thing that, uh, you know, you mentioned uh, Tressman being critical in all three phases. You know, the Bears really didn't run the ball well at all, and, and I'm curious whether you think that that's a product of them not leading much in either of the two games that they've played, or, or whether this is a concern that they're going to have all season. Well, I, no, I would lean more towards kind of the nature of that game. And, uh, you know, as I said on the television broadcast, you know, the Bears had really looked to run no matter what in that game. And falling behind really changed that. It was pretty clear that it did. I think the Bears are going to be a pretty good running football team. With Matt Forte and that offensive line, eventually they're going to, especially against teams that aren't that stout on their defensive line as, as the 49ers are. So I really don't think that's a big problem. Uh, Kyle Long called it embarrassment. I think that the line takes a lot of pride in being able to run the ball, and they're pretty good. I, I just don't see that as like a major issue coming out of the, out of this game. And even if we won't see it on Monday night, the Jets are notoriously great against the run. Uh, so maybe that's not part of the game plan, or at least not something they're too concerned about until week four and beyond. Uh, one quick thing, uh, Mark Tressman praised his defense up and down for the way they tackled, the way they played the run. Despite the stats being similar from week one in terms of yards per carry, he said he really liked what they were able to do against the 49ers. It sounds like he's as happy with his D as he's been since week three of last year. Well, I think he has reason to, because right. of what I saw in that game was they had several players, I think, that really not just played good games, but really showed progress. Shane McClellan, I thought, really looks like he's getting it at linebacker. And I don't know how great a linebacker he's going to be, but you know something? He's improving. Right. John Bostic as well. They had some players, Kyle Fuller, they had a lot of players, I think, took a big step in that game, and more than just one game. You know, the NFL is a league where you can be totally different from one week to the next, but individually, there's always growth, and that growth, I think, is good news for the Bears. And it, it, Mark Tressman said that, you know, he, he's not thrilled that the Bears are getting younger the way they are, mm -hmm. given Tillman's injury, but, you know, the three players uh, you've just mentioned, those are young guys, and, and, and you know, that can only mean good things for them going forward. From Hallis Hall, for Mark Potash, I'm Patrick Finley. Stay with SunTimes.com for all your Bears info.